Hey YouTube, Jiggity614 here. Just coming in with like a quick update ramble rant thing. I've been doing that a lot lately. But um, I'm just coming to say, oh my gosh, do you know what I just realized today? I do not have a shampoo. I do not have a shampoo, a staple shampoo or anything that I'm going to go to to cleanse slash clarify my hair. And I don't know what to do because I would like to wash my hair this weekend because I wash shampoo my hair once a week and I deep condition and all that stuff and after watching um, Kim A Tube's um, pH balance videos awesome series you guys you should really check them out you learn a lot about your hair a lot of stuff I didn't know and a lot of stuff that like when other natural women were like oh you should use this you should do that do that and I would use it and I was like it kind of feels weird but I mean I did experience the softness but it was like how she she explains it in the video like especially with the baking soda like I've done the baking soda before and I'm like oh my gosh my hair is so soft well because of it altering my cuticle and you know it was it was really really interesting I, I highly suggest you watch that series it's very interesting she always has really resourceful stuff I love her channel and I just want to give a big shout out and thanks to her like she's awesome and she deserves two thumbs up hold on my balancing on my lap two thumbs up okay but yeah so after that um I don't I haven't used baking soda I used it like once or twice in my hair and that was like at the beginning of my journey probably about like four or five months ago so you know I haven't really like been playing around with that I used to use it on my face a lot and I stopped doing that too but I don't know and but anyways and then she tested her Dr. Bronner's magic steel soap or whatever and she found out how high the pH was it was like a 10 and I was like oh my god I can't use that anymore you know um, so I, I never, I have the bar of soap, but I'm pretty sure the formula is still the same no matter what. So I'm not going to use that anymore. And I'm out of, about to be out of my head to toe honey wash. And I'm just done. I have no form of a shampoo. No form of a shampoo anymore. So, I don't know what I'm going to do, I don't know what to invest in, I don't know what to try, I don't know what to buy. I mean, yeah, I co-wash my hair during the week, but you know, I still need a good washy wash. So, basically, I'm just coming over here to be like, oh my god, I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm freaking out, I don't know why. And to ask you guys for some suggestions on what you think I should try and go get this weekend for Sunday, because I would like to wash my hair. Like, really wash my hair. I don't have apple cider vinegar. I'm in a dorm, so don't say apple cider vinegar rinse because I don't have that right now. I'm in a dorm. And, which she did a, say ACV is good for rinsing the hair and closing the cuticles and stuff. So I will get back into the habit of using that. I used that like once or twice before and I, the results were weird. I think I had it too strong. So yeah. But um, anyways, so if you guys have any suggestions or ideas of what kind of shampoo, natural shampoo, sulfate free shampoo, that I could use, let me know, and I greatly appreciate it, um, 